there will not be a more intense straight up action movie this year, I guarantee you. The Raid Redemption I just like calling it The Raid, I don't know what the redemption is for This year we got some great action movies coming out for sure Expendables 2, Avengers, The Dark Knight Rises I promise you, none of those movies are gonna be able to touch The Raid The Raid is a hardcore Indonesian action movie that puts all American movies to shame This is an instant action classic This is exactly what I've been waiting for What I've been wanting to see in the movie theaters for such a long time Now the most common question I hear is what is the raid? When I think of the raid, I kind of think of Donkey Kong, and no, I'm not wearing this shirt on purpose. It's just something I put on today. You start off at the top one. The top one? You start off at the bottom. The top is where you need to go. Only thing is, you gotta go through a ton of shit just to get to the top. You gotta face all these deadly obstacles, and once you do get to the top, you may be facing certain death. That's the way that's about a rookie SWAT team that has to go through 30 floors of hell and some high-rise slum building just to get some drug lord scumbag. Everything starts off routine until things quickly erupt into chaos. There's this big, massive, intense shootout that is just amazing. It's intensely violent, it's chaotic, and it's aided by some pretty crazy camera work. This is a good example of how some shaky cam can actually do your movie quite good. Now it's not all crazy, it's just enough to demonstrate how chaotic the gunfight really is. And after the smoke clears and those who are left alive are out of ammo, it's time for them to kick some ass. We are talking about the most intense martial arts scenes shown in a very long time in theaters. And what I love about the fight scenes is it's all visible. You can see every little punch and kick and head bash. It's sick. And what I also love is that the fighting doesn't seem over choreographed, it seems brutal, it seems honest, it seems like these guys are really trying to kill each other. Although my friend Jess did point out a couple of things that were pretty interesting. In the first major martial arts scene, our main hero is armed with a knife and a club, he goes up against a dozen guys, he takes them all out, and once his weapons are useless, all the future enemies that come out of nowhere, don't have any more weapons. Also, even though some of these guys are really kicking each other's asses, when their opponents hit the floor, rather than just take advantage and just kill them, they either wait till their opponent gets up, or they help them up to kick their asses further. Now me personally, I would be a dirty fighter. I'm in it to win it. I would literally take advantage and just kick your ass and kick you while you're down. But not these guys. These guys seem to have some kind of sense of honor. Another thing I liked about this movie was the score. The score was created by Mike Shinoda of Lincoln Park and another guy named Joseph Trapanese. There's a really good, well-balanced, not overused score. And I am referring to the American version. I think in some countries the score is actually different. Now what I mean by it not being overused is some of the more quiet scenes, some of the more dramatic and intense scenes give you just the right amount of score. It's not like Trent Lasner when he teams up with David Fincher. Yeah, I went there. I think one complaint that people will have is that this movie obviously does not have a grand story, but there are some interesting story elements that I honestly didn't know were there. So that was kind of cool. The one thing I will kind of admit though is that you definitely root for the main character. It's mostly just because he's going through hell. He's getting his ass kicked. And he's capable of doing his job, but god damn. If he survives this, he needs a raise. But I have to admit, he as a character and some of the other characters are not exactly fleshed out. There's no real connection with them. I, I, I found myself not being able to identify with him. And I think in an action movie, that's important. You know, kind of like John McClane. You need to really have a liking character. The guy is likable, but he's not memorable for anything else other than his ass kicking abilities. And because of that flaw and a few minor little things, this isn't exactly the 5 star movie I was hoping, but it's definitely a 4.5 out of 5. I had so much fun with this movie. If I wasn't such a composed movie goer, I swear I would have been yelling and screaming and cheering. I would have been a real nuisance to the rest of the audience, you know. Five other people that were in the theater. That's another thing. We had some 
fucking annoying douchebag in back of us. I know the movie's exciting and all, but there's no excuse to be kicking my friend's chair and to be tap dancing in back of us, you asshole. If you're an action junkie, if you're a fan of martial arts, if you're looking for a rush, see this movie. Yeah, so what? It's got subtitles. Big deal. They hardly talk. They sure do yell, though. I mean, they yell, like, a lot. Yeah! I hear that they want to make an American remake of this movie. Are you fucking kidding me? I hope that doesn't happen. However, I do hear there's a sequel in the works for this. That, I hope, happens. So, quick question. What are some of the most intense action movies you've ever seen? Foreign, American, Canadian, whatever. Put them down in the comments. What the hell?